welcome to a new video of the series of how it is to be a student in Germany. If this is your first video watching, I'm Mariana, I'm 34 years old, I come from Brazil, and I'm a full-time MBA student here at HHL in Leipzig, Germany. So, thinking about the previous videos, if you didn't watch them, go back and do it. The first one, I introduce myself and I talk to you where I am right now, what is happening in my life as a full-time student. In the second video, I tell you the reason why, how was my thought process on deciding to come to Germany and deciding to apply for HHL. On the third video, I talk about the application process. So after deciding, how was it? What are the, the steps within this process? And today, you are already a student, you already accepted. How is it going to be? Um, what is the program like? Remembering that I'm focusing on the MBA because that's my program, so I'm going to talk to you more about that today. First topic I would like to talk about, and I already talked about this on my reason why I chose HHL, is the class size. I think that's important because that changes your whole experience. If you are in a class of 200 people and if you are in a class of 50 people, your experience, how you're going to get to know people and how you're going to interact with them and your professors is going to be completely different. For example, uh, usually at HHL, classes are from 35 to 50 people on the MBA and very, very international. Uh, so the only exception was my class, for example, we were 65 people. And in the beginning I was like, okay, I, wa I thought it was going to be around 40 and it's 65, but I can say that in the end it was amazing. Uh, it was great to have so many people. We are from 17 different nationalities and completely different backgrounds. Uh, the profile in my class is average of 30 years old, knowing that we had people from 25 to 42, and uh, average as well of six years of experience, knowing that we had a person that had 15, 16 years of experience. So very, very interesting. We could like get along and cooperate also really well. And the only reason my class was a little bigger is because if you think about it, we started in September 2021. We were the first class after the pandemic, not after, but after the worst part of the pandemic before uh, vaccinations and everything. So a lot of students that were already accepted to the batch that started in 2020, they shifted to start in 2021. The class, the current one that just started now uh, in 2022 in September, they are 40 people. So they went back to the normal class size of HHL. Okay, now that you know a little more about the class size and profile, let's get into the program structure. HHL has two options, between the advanced track and the fast track. I have talked about this briefly in previous videos, so today is the day that I'm gonna to explain to you what is this, what does it mean to have an advanced or a fast track. Um, just for starters, for you to understand, to have an MBA degree, you need to have 300 credits, right? So, if you came from uh, undergrad studies with only 180 degrees, less me, I had a three years bachelor program, so now I need to go to the advanced track, that is the one that's going to give me 120 credits. If you already had a longer um, bachelor or even if you already have a master's before and now you're doing your MBA, you can, you probably have more credits already, so you don't need to do the advanced track, you can go with the fast track that is gonna give you 90 credits. And that's gonna be enough for you to have the 300 needed to get your MBA degree. So knowing this, what changes? The thing that changes the most is how many credits you're gonna need, of course, to take on doing your studies here at HHL. That meaning that you're gonna have some options. Of course, you have the general management program. That's gonna be your first two terms. You have four in total. And in these two terms, you're gonna have the base disciplines. That meaning that everyone takes them. And then on the last two terms of the program, the spring and the summer term, you're gonna go more to a base of classes that are mandatory, that everyone takes it, plus your electives. These are the classes that you can choose, and that's how you personalize also your program. Me needing 120 degrees to finalize my, my MBA, to be able to get an MBA degree, I needed to take more classes. And some of my classmates that took the fast track, 
they had a little bit more free time, let's say, during the program because they didn't need to take so many electives because they only needed 90 credits. If you go to HHL's MBA program page, you can come down to the menu and here you're going to find program. That's going to send you down the page and you're going to see here the fast track and all the information about it and also the advanced track and all the information. Then in program structure, first you see the welcome weeks. These are the two first weeks of your program to set the mood to start your program. Very exciting. Then you see the general management essentials. These are your mandatory classes. You see the different modules and all the classes within each one of them. The general management electives. And here you see all the modules plus every class that you can use to personalize your program. And of course, you are in Germany. <laughs> so if you still don't speak German by the time that you get here, or even if you speak like an intermediate level and you want to improve it, HHL also provides you with German classes that also gets you credit. So just by learning German on campus, you also gonna be able to customize your modules, customize your, your study experience here. Also, to customize your program, uh, the classes are not the only option. I'm going to take a look here in the computer because we have quite a few options, so I don't want to forget anything. So, um, you can have an internship. You can be an entrepreneur in residence. Usually, they, they have those programs in startups, for example. Or you can go to a study abroad. In the study abroad, also, you're going to be uh, taken on... Uh, cr new credits on the new school, you're going to take a few classes there, but then on the internship you need to write a report in the end, and the internship usually is more done by students that go to advanced track where you need more credits, so you take on the internship, and the fast track usually they can already start working because the only thing that they need to do outside of, um, of the classes of more of the base program is to write their thesis because they only need 90 credits in the end. Another option is a consulting project. There is you're going to be a student counselor in projects with a company. So it's a real case with a real company, usually a partner from HHL. They're going to present to you in, in the beginning all the companies that are here. You're going to choose the one you need, you want to work with, and you're going to have a work group to find a solution to a real life uh, problem that this company is facing and in the end usually takes six months in the end you're going to present the solution to the company also having regular meetings with them knowing that hhl is the entrepreneur school of germany you of course have something for the entrepreneurs out there uh, it's called lean startup seminar and there basically you're going to come with a new idea that you already have or in a group, you're gonna find a new business idea and there you're gonna learn how to design, model, and plan this new business. Other option for you are the open courses. They are not necessarily directly related to the program. One example that I can give you is the cryptocurrency class that one of my friends was having like this week. So that's also very interesting. And we come to another option that is one of my favorites that is the international study trip. This year, my class, we went to Vienna and it was an amazing, amazing experience. It's one of my favorite uh, memories, I would say, to, from the MBA. We were, not everyone from the class went, it, just people that applied to that. So it was interesting to see people getting closer together because of the trip. And afterwards, we needed to do a self-reflection in groups and talk about how this impact us, what did we learn from it, and what are we taking for our careers. And that was the assignment, and that's how we were graded after the, the trip. You might be asking yourself, how are the classes graded? In every class, you're going to have at least one group assignment. Some classes will also give you one exam on top of that. And some, fewer, I would say, also have an individual assignment instead of an exam, for example showing that the program really values group work to prepare for real life situations. Because if you think that we have a customizable program with people choosing different electives, you may think that yes, we have different schedules as well. 
So this help us learn how to, to coordinate and how to cooperate with people. People that, if you think so, they have um, different backgrounds, different experiences, and you need to coordinate with everyone to find a solution because it doesn't matter if you have an exam tomorrow. If we have an assignment to, to be delivered, if we have a deadline, we need to work on it. So despite all the differences in the program and the personal difference that we have, we need to work together for a final good result. Okay, so let's change a little bit of scenery. Let's go. So far, I talked to you about the ways that you can personalize your program and get credits for. Now I'd like to bring another option that you have, but doesn't give you credits, but I think they are great to really improve and maximize your CV here in Germany. And these are HHL initiatives. First one I would like to talk about is the HHL Energy Conference. So this is a topic that only grows in importance and is a two-day conference. After that, I can bring up the VCC. That's our Venture Capital Club. They do smaller events throughout the year. They bring some important names off the market to talk about the topic. But if sports are your thing, you definitely should join the European Ivy League. All the speakers and all the activities that you have throughout the two or three days of the event go around sports and especially football. If you are into entrepreneurship, startups and investing in new businesses ideas, then Accelerate is the initiative for you. That's the one I took part in and I was head of marketing for it. One event that you probably know the name that is very famous <laughs> is the TEDx, so TED Talks. And the independent one we have here is the TEDx HHL. So it's a one day conference and of course it's the more creative one I would say. Last but not least, we have the Negotiation Club. That's a club, of course, as the name says, prepares its participants to take part in an international challenge that this year, for example, it happened in Greece. If you want to have more information about each one of these initiatives, just check the HHL website and you can see everything. Also, you can check the social media for each one of the initiatives. And now, as a last point, I would just like to quickly point out my three favorite disciplines throughout my program. Of course, I enjoyed much, many more, not only these three, but I would like to hang my top three. Uh, I would say PAC, that's problem solving and communication. We had a business uh, case that we had to, to solve. They had a problem and we need to provide a solution, of course, and present. And it was a, a very intensive course of four days, if I'm not mistaken. That was the first course last year and really left like a, a had an impact on me and it was one of my favorites. Uh, of course, since I am from marketing, brand marketing was a, a discipline that I loved. This class was very rich in content. The professor was great, very patient and had a lot of experience. So yeah, that was one of my top three. And also negotiation. Just as we have the negotiation club, we also have a class. And it was a Friday night, Saturday and Sunday the whole day. And we didn't see the time pass because we were really engaged and really focused on winning the negotiations that we were taking a part in. So yeah, I would say that those are my three favorite disciplines throughout the program. So that was it for the video today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you now have a better overview of the whole MBA program. And uh, if you have any questions, as usual, just leave them here. We will be happy to answer you. And I see you next time. Bye bye.